Okay, now we were starting to work on the Doc Monahan and the uh, approach there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're, we've just made it through our respiratory syncytial virus season. I know a lot of my parents and the kids who've had the RSV bronchiolitis, they go home and they clean the rooms and turn it into a little space shuttle for Mars. And I we have to tell them it's an infectious exacerbation. And what they need to do is just get out of that septic tank daycare and stop their kids from swimming around diapers and mucus and more respiratory viruses all day. Mm -hmm. uh, and just the, the uh, environmental control isn't, isn't really enough. As the kids get older, though, is there instruction in there about environmental control? There is. Um, again, identifying what the kids are actually, what triggers their asthma. And obviously, there are things in the environment that, that will do that. And cigarette smoking is probably my biggest pet peeve, as well as a lot of other well, professionals. 1-800-NO-BUTS well, <laughs> is the phone number to call. Uh, everyone pays 50 cents a pack to have someone at the end, the end of that line to uh, talk to them and uh, can pro provide them with uh, a medication if they stick with the program. So uh, as well as paying for our, our uh, healthy, uh, first healthy families and first five programs, uh, we really appreciate people smoking, but we also like them to stop smoking and we would find other ways to fund these things. But, but it does go in, it's called triggers in depth and it goes through common irritants such as the smoke and the strong odors, the allergens and asthma, the outdoor pollens and molds, which many of us are allergic to. They're actually indoor molds. And something that is mentioned in the book here, something that's very prevalent in Dallas, is the cockroach. There are a lot of kids allergic to cockroach. Um, it's because we see a lot of the inner city children. Um, animals. How many kids have cats and dogs and they come in wheezing or they sleep with their cat or they sleep with their dog? Uh, stuffed animals because of the, the dust mites, the pillows. There's so many things that um, can be used these days to help um, keep the, the uh, environment well, uh, you, have on, you have a DVD you've brought as well, and uh, tell me, is that covered in the DVD? What kinds of things are covered in, in the uh, uh, visual materials? The DVD is, covers everything you want to know about asthma and more. It's covered in a way that excites children and will hold their attention. It starts out by teaching them about what is asthma and it shows actually airways and how the muscles around the airways um, tighten and squeeze and the inflammation and that's why you're short of breath and you can't breathe it goes from there to um, how is how is it diagnosed and what kind of medications and it goes through a list of triggers longer than you and i could ever imagine um, it also talks about what children should do when they have an asthma exacerbation. But it's about a 12 minute DVD. It's something that can be used not only with kids in a physician's office. Actually, you could probably run that in your waiting room uh, on if you have asthma day where you see kids, just the kids with asthma. It's something that can be used in the schools. It can be used at YMCA's. It can be used throughout the community. I think probably one of the hardest things for my doctors when they come to work for me is here in California, a number of our, certainly our parents and even some of the children, Spanish is their primary language. Uh, and so we have all these materials in English and no one ever seems to take the time to make certain they're in, in Spanish in a way that people can understand. Is this available in Spanish? Because it also helps to educate my doctors. You know, Doc Monahan thought of everything. <laughs> in fact, in the book, uh, one, if you open it up on one side, it's in English. You flip it over and it's in Spanish. So it's all in one book inclusive. Well, that's always, it's always been great. I, when I listen to my interpreters, uh, pretty soon I've got their uh, words down mm -hmm. and we can uh, move on to something else. Uh, in the DVD and uh, the materials that they get, uh, are there any coloring books or any activities for the children? Well, in the box, you not only get the DVD or the, the uh, VHS video, you also get what's called the parent guide, and that's probably the most important one. There's a storybook that goes right along with the DVD for kids to, to read along with the DVD. There's also a coloring book and a little box of, um, of crayons. So it's the, the coloring book is geared towards 
Doc Monahan, as well as Color Your Own Picture here. And I've seen so many pictures that children have, what we try to do is, what does it feel like when you have asthma? And there are pictures of, that kids draw with, where they are actually stuffed inside of a bottle or they have chains around their, their chest or ropes to where it's just, they, they, it's an image that is just startling to see. They can draw that here, hopefully not. But it's also um, customized to where they can write down what their triggers are. And let's practice. My asthma is under control, as well as some word games or word puzzles. Well, certainly when, when uh Parents come into my office for skin testing, I'll say, oh, oh and, uh, and what's the name of the cat? Because they know not to tell me they have a cat. The hard part about that cat is, of course, it's a ubiquitous antigen. We, we've looked at bus benches and found cat dander on every single bus bench. And it's not the cats are reading the newspaper, or waiting, they're drinking their Starbucks, waiting for <laughs> the bus to come, but everybody seems to bring their butts with them and stick them on the bench. Uh, so we, we worry about the cat, we were about the cockroach, we were about uh, dust mite, dust mite. Mm -hmm. uh, and then mold, we're here on the coast, so uh, we'll have, we have a lot of paranoia about mold and uh, black mold, but uh, it's still, it's a big, big allergen out here. We're the, the salad bowl for uh, the world here in Ventura County. Our fruits and vegetables go everywhere, mm -hmm. but uh, that also means lots of nice grass pollen and all our golf courses. I know you like to, yes. to play golf. <laughs> Uh, all of our golf courses, uh, everybody watering their lawns. We've got great trees year-round. Basically, we're, the month of July is about the only month we don't have, uh, have pollen or something like that. So I really look forward to using the Doc Monahan kit. Uh, we're going to be purchasing them for our, our inpatient unit and uh, integrating them into our practice and waiting room uh, DVD at the Pediatric great. Diagnostic Center. Uh, so Ventura, uh, it's time to get moving. Uh, we can lead an air open existence here in Ventura County. We just have to look at the inside world, the outside world, and get good education for parents. Get moving, Ventura. Two puffs of the asthma stuff twice a day stops the wheeze and helps you to breathe. Two puffs of the asthma stuff twice a day stops the wheeze and helps you to breathe. Two puffs of the asthma stuff twice a day stops the wheeze and helps you to breathe. Two puffs of the asthma stuff twice a day stops the wheeze and helps you to breathe. Booyaka, here comes the doctor to drop it on a topic that leads to mad drama. To be specific, to live with it can be tougher, doesn't have to win your master and understand enough about the triggers and causes and knowing what yours is and how to prevent another asthma event. No doubt about it, cause it's not a joke when your weeds can't breathe and start to choke. The situation concerns information about mucus, muscles, spasm, and inflammation. The destination, a generation that's asthma free. So here to watch and realize with just analogy. Plus this dust is one of the rangers, plus dogs, plus cats, and also changing seasons. On this a long list exists, I ain't joking. Roaches, powder, perfume, rugs, and smoking. And now I'm open, I'm hoping to get you knowing the data and facts to stop the asthma attacks. Two puffs of the asthma stuff from the inhaler. If done wrong, can be a failure. Use not abuse.